Hello there everyone, today we're gonna do this. This is gonna be a small kind of a goby pattern. This is basically a variation of a very famous Danish fly that's called the uh, the um, Polar Fred, uh, loosely translated. Um, but I'm gonna do a variation of this with some other eyes and some other dubbing and stuff like that. So 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 we better call it a small variation. The thing about this fly and, and the thing that is really cool is is these eyes. These eyes are uh, diamond fish eyes from um, from uh, Easy Swim Eyes, and uh, and and they are cool because they do they're made from uh, they're made from uh, from plastic, so they are not um, they don't have any weight to them. And this means that that you can make a fly, a small fly that hovers without sinking, and and that uh, that can be the, the the trick one day. The 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 reason why I'm doing this fly is because a good friend of mine, who is a very very avid fisherman who fishes a lot for sea trout uh, and stuff like that, he uh, he he called me up and said uh, he wanted to buy um, uh, five of the packages of these uh, if if and wanted to check that I had them in stock, and I asked him him why, and he said because um. I have experienced. Uh, I've met a lot of situations where the fish are very, very close to uh, to the bank, uh, in the, in the fjords, and and are feeding on on something. And and normally I haven't been able to catch them. But then I met this this small goby, and this is actually uh, this one is actually his fly. And then all of a sudden I was able to catch all the fish that I didn't catch before. And uh, and he told me that uh, he think one of the, the the main thing about this fly is the eyes uh, because they're so big they're so visual the fish can see them from miles uh, away um, and uh, and and then uh, at the same time they don't have any weight to them so so these eyes comes in four five seven millimeters and stuff like that and um, and uh, in in diff several different colors um, and are are a pretty cool pretty cool product um, not many people have seen this. So, so that's also one of the reasons why I did this, and uh, and he he was he was really really convinced that these eyes were the the main reason why um, why his flies had become more effective than than normal for for this particular type of uh, of fishing. So I'm gonna start by attaching the eyes here. They, they come in clear and in all uh, different uh, colors. Like this. So this is the four millimeter version, and basically I just tie this on with a lot of of turns in in figure eight turns. I don't know if that's the correct name for it, but that's what I call it in Danish. And then also I make a lot of turns underneath the eyes to pull the uh, to pull the uh, the the figure eight turns tight. You can apply some super glue also if you can't can't get the the eyes uh, to to be uh, correctly fastened. But as you can see, they're quite big the eyes here. And uh, what you need to do is is in the package there are some some black pupils, um, also uh, with with the glue on one side. And basically you just put the pupils on there, and then you coat with a small layer of varnish or UV glue. Uh, I'm gonna do that later, um, but basically uh, that that ensures that the eye stays in place. The pupil stays in place. The eyes will be there if you have secured them with the super glue. So as you can see, the eyes really stand out. They're very big. They're very uh, very easy to see, and uh, and that's that's the key to 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 the success. Uh, my 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 friend Tim uh, told me. So, and from here it's basically kind of like uh, the same pattern as uh, almost the same pattern as uh, as the uh, as the original. We're gonna take some uh, some um, some grizzly marabou uh, for the tail. This is a cool uh, cool material. Has a lot of life and and gives some contrast and stuff like that um, to 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 any 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 sea trout or 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 any trout fly in in general like this. So just a small tail, we can cut this away, and then we need to uh, then we need to add the the body hackle. And uh, for this body hackle, I want to show you this. This is a Whiting Benton cape, and in order to see this correctly, I'm just gonna change lens and show you how it looks uh, 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 in in real, in in bigger pictures. 
So now, uh, now we should talk about the Hackle, and that's why I zoomed out, because I have a few of these in stock. This is a Whiting Bantam bird, and what this is, is, um, is an extremely, extremely high quality cape and saddle. You get both in, um, in, uh, in, the, same, uh, in, in the same package. Um, the, the thing about these is they have an insane amount of feathers, but all the feathers here are, are specifically designed, and when I say designed, that's actually what I mean, because Tom has, has done that, designed these especially for, for body hackles for smaller flies. So for size 8, size 6 and size uh, 10, there is an insane amount of, of hackle feathers here. And also, as you see, as you move up, uh, up towards the end of this uh, of, of the cape here, you still have usable feathers. So, for the 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 coastal flies and for sea trout flies and for 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 trout flies in general, if you need a grizzly cape, also the saddle is very nice and very usable. This is the best there is, without a doubt, the best at least the best I've ever seen. And um, but it's also um, unfortunately, a bit expensive. It costs more than than a hundred euros. It's about a hundred and a hundred and twelve something, something, something like that. Um, so, but if you really want, truly want the best there is, then this is it. And the stock is very, very limited. So, I have the ones I have, and if if you want them, you should go and get them because you know, <laughs> uh, stock on whiting is. P per definition, by definition, uh, not not the easiest to to come by. So, back to uh, tying the fly. Okay, so now you saw and heard the <laughs> my rantings about the bantam, uh, but it really they they truly are amazing feathers. Just I mean, just look at it. It's just it's completely perfect. <laughs> I I like those really 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 much. Now oh, tie one of these in in the tip, so it will it will taper the right way like this and then I'm gonna take uh, a dubbing uh, one of the dubbings that I have experienced that has the most amount reflects the uh, most amount of light is uh, is this uh, ribble eyes dubbing uh, really a, a, a good dubbing I like it a lot I like the ribble eyes fiber and then and then they launched uh, the dubbing as well um, I that's gonna be a really top seller for us because um, because uh, the, the 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 fibers, the ribbonized fibers, were so cool, but but a bit coarse and a big and a big broad, so uh, so I tried to use it for for many flies, uh, the 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 ribbonized fiber as well uh, as a dubbing. But now that it it, it at least some of the the, the colors uh, have arrived in in uh, in dubbing, then uh, it's 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 going to be a, a, a very very uh, stable part of my fly tying these uh, these ribbonized dubbing. Also for mixing with other dubbings and stuff like that, um, it's 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 truly a, a cool cool product. So, oh, and I've forgotten my uh, <laughs> my hackle plier, so I'm gonna do this by hand. And you could probably argue that this fly is so small and and the dubbing is is fairly dense, so so it's it's gonna be okay. But you could argue that I should I should add a rib to this to uh, to make sure that. That my hackle um, is is more securely fastened, and and I probably I yeah, you can do that if you add a, a rib, you 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 will you will get a stronger fly. But it's it's fairly small, and 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 uh, and uh, the one I got from Tim does not have a have a rib. So basically, as you see it now, as you see this fly now, it could easily easily be finished but it needs a bit more it needs a bit more attraction and it, it needs a bit more to point uh, to point uh, the attention towards the uh, towards the eyes so i'm going to make a small um, small dubbing loop to to really uh, finish off the fly here with a with a pink head and the dubbing i'm going to use is is um, the the senyo fusion pink lady dubbing because that really is some of the most fluorescent and most pink dubbing uh, <laughs> um, I've come across. So this will give a really nice finishing touch to uh, to to this uh, to this pattern. And the reason I do it in a dubbing loop is because I want a fluffy head here. I want a head that really stands out and this is fairly fluffy and uh, and uh, and and a bit bulky as well. Oh. 
on like this and then basically I'm gonna turn the dubbing here on the head and there you have it the small head part here and we can pull out some of the dubbing to to give it a bit more corona halo effect but actually it looks very nice as it is now so you can do this of course in in any colors and and in any sizes but uh, and and I urge you to do so because I really think that uh, that these eyes here they are very underestimated and uh, and uh, and really really a cool product that not many people have seen um, so so uh, so I'm expecting a lot from uh, from these eyes in the future, and and I mean uh, you you yeah, I, I recommend them and, and think you should you should definitely uh, look them up and and try them out for yourself. Um, okay, <clears throat> so as always, if you haven't uh, if you haven't um, subscribed to the channel, then please do that. That would mean a lot to me. Um, and uh, and the full material kit for this fly and all the individual materials, of course, are available at NordicAnglers.com, um, uh, my website site, where you can see you can see. Um, all the fly tying materials and uh, of course we have a ton of different gear and stuff like that as well so it would mean a lot to to us if you would um, subscribe to the channel uh, or swing by and uh, and buy some fly tying <laughs> well good luck out on the water and uh, thank you again for watching